Everything that you see here today and everything that unfolds today has all been meticulously planned by Melissa and Robert. They have made it personal and truly wonderful and something for us all to remember. And because it's the most wonderful time of year, how fitting it is for this wedding, a wonderful wedding, at a wonderful time of year. Rob and Mel have found their soulmates in each other, someone who makes life more complete than they could ever have dreamed possible. With such deep felt love for one another, they now wish to honour that love by coming together to share their lives, their happiness, their sorrows, their accomplishments and their passions while building their dreams together and growing every day in the love that has made them one. Five minutes. It's ramping up a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, will you please stand? Melissa, I give you this wedding ring as a symbol of my love. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. I promise to love, cherish you and respect you for as long as we shall both shall live. <laughs> <laughs> I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Melissa Andrews, do take Robert James McGrathy Moore to be my lawful wedded husband. Robert and Melissa, I'm now delighted to declare that you are lawfully joined together as husband and wife United yes. <laughs> we love each and every one of you. We're really glad that you shared our special day today, which, by the way, I think she looks absolutely beautiful. Yeah, would, would you agree with me? <laughs> Shocker! Now Robert, as I found out, is a modern day man. Traditionally, a man will ask his future father-in-law in, <laughs> in person if he can have his daughter's hand in marriage. Not Robert, he sent me a text message. I'm going to read what it says. And it goes on to say, All right. It's your Melissa's future husband. <laughs> Confident, obviously. Then went on to ask, Are you okay with that? How could I refuse such a heartfelt request? Now, a question most people get asked in general conversations or in interviews is, who is your idol? And that's my mum. And... <laughs> Not all of you know the struggles and the mountains that we've had to climb to get here today. The first house that I can remember was somewhere named Willow. This is one of the roughest areas that I know, and it's very sad to think about it, but I was living in a council house. A four-year-old boy and his mum. But what this amazing woman did, when most people would lay down and take the hit, is that she stood up and she took herself to university where she became a social worker. So this is the mum that is my idol, 
She went from being a 16 year old with a couple of GCSEs to her name to becoming my shining star. Robert, I know I can look at you and look into your eyes and know that you'll look after my mum. we have a, a lovely young couple so much in love with each other as individuals they are unique in their own little ways but together they are totally perfect <laughs> 